Mr. Speaker, I was uh, in the hospital recently for 15 days, and I had zero interest in politics since I was in the hospital, possibly face facing the end of my life. And, and just a, a few minutes here in, in Parliament, I'm interested in politics again. <laughs> You know, I, I, I wanted to, um, I'm not running again, I announced that, but I wanted to make a farewell speech, and that's tradition in this House, to be able to say goodbye and, and thank members of this House. And um, I have surgery coming up on for colon cancer on May 22nd, and I thought the only opportunity is this week. And um, so I'm, I'm here to give you an update and to thank you. Um, so I, uh, I was on an election observer um, with a colleague, and I had to come back early because I was turning yellow. And um, I was very jaundiced, came back, and uh, went to the hospital after a few days, and they found that I had uh, a, a pancreatic tumor, and then they found that I had colon cancer, and then that the pancreatic cancer, which is peanut, same as uh, Steve Jobs had that he had it spread to my lungs, Ooh. and so I'm. The prognosis, as far as the doctors are, it, it's not great. But uh, I have a strong faith in God, and the God that created me can heal me. Yeah. Again, there's these little voices, little nuggets in in our lives where we need to listen and uh, follow God's leading, and and that's why I'm here. I'm just an average guy that has. I had an incredible honor serving with you and, um, and serving our community. I want to thank God. I want to thank my family. That doesn't take away my time, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> so life is precious. Life is sacred. I've been re reminded very freshly how valuable and precious life is from beginning to end. So God bless you. I love you all. I look forward to being able to serve. Until October, it'll likely be out of my constituent office. But uh, to God be the glory. Thank you so much. <laughs>